Welcome to Thinking Christianly with Grant VB, and on this episode, I'm going to do a quick book review of Jonathan Edwards by Stephen J. Lawson. Well, welcome back again to Thinking Christianly with Grant VB. I wanted to do a quick book review, and the book I'm going to review is going to be right here. I'm going to cover up my sign there, but it's a book by Stephen J. Lawson, who is a very popular um, pastor and author connected with Ligonier Ministries, and he wrote this little book on Jonathan Edwards. This book was not what I expected. What I expected was a quick biography of Jonathan Edwards' life. However, that is not what this book is. This book looks into the personal devotion of Edward's life. It looks at what his personal aim was in his walk with God. What Lawson does is he looks at the 70 resolutions that Edward's made for his life, and he clumps some together to point to kind of the high marks or the more concentrated points of Edward's devotional life. This is one of those people that the Reformed world loves to critique. The Reformed world loves to critique Edward's, and I don't agree with 100% of Edward's theology and practice as a pastor, particularly children and their status of membership within the covenant, particularly seen in attendance at the Lord's table. But Nevertheless, I think we need to not throw the baby out with the bathwater when it comes to Edward. I really liked this little book. I really liked to see again that it's important to personally seek the glory of God in every area of our life, every second of every day that we live. Edwards rightfully saw every day that he had as a gift from God, and he sought to glorify God in all of that. And he was intensely disciplined about that. Now, of course, the Puritans are rightfully criticized by their morbid introspection in various ways, and, you know, they developed this big, long list of things that must have happened to you if you ever should have confidence that you are saved. This is crazy, and this ditches an objective view of the promises of God. If God's promised something, then we believe it and you walk in it. You walk as if you believe it. You are not to muster up certain experiences in your life in order to give credit to God's promises or to, to point to as uh, legitimacy in God's promises. It, you may have uh, long periods of your Christian life where um, it's a struggle, but what you hang on to is the objective promise of God. You, you hang on to the promises of God just as they are. So that would be one one critique of the Puritans that I think is rightfully put. However, we can't fall off the road on the other side into the ditch of negligence, of um, apathy. And I, I think this is quite prevalent. I, I think we have more apathetic Christians than we do Christians who are so serious about whether they sin today and how did they sin and how might they repent of that. And so if we're going to really focus on where the problem lies, it's going to be in the area of just self-discipline. And so that's why I think a book like this is still super important. And I'm glad that Stephen J. Lawson wrote it. I loved reading it. There's a lot of meat and only a few bones to spit out as you read this one. It's short and uh, he pulls in many of the famous biographers of Edwards. And so that's a lot of fun. And, um, you know, even though my theology differs with Edwards at many points, a uh, handful of points, I can't help but love the guy. And you know what? I encourage all of you, go read his sermons. Like, go read Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, Edwards' most famous sermon. It's phenomenal. It is great. It is such a good sermon. So, I encourage you, grab this book, and I hope you're blessed by it as I was. And if you want more videos like that, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and let me know down in the comments. And a link for the book by Stephen J. Lawson is in the description below. Until next time, this is Thinking Christianly with Grant VB.